Hello, thank you for joining me. So, Miniature Railway Britain has begun and today we've just arrived at our first Miniature Railway and um, I found the next best thing in the car park to park next to. So today we've come to the Foxfield Miniature Railway. Now the Foxfield is probably more famous for the standard gauge light railway which runs off in that direction over there down to Foxfield Colliery. So I thought as soon as I'm here I'll have a go on it. It's a diesel day today but then I always tend to get their steam engine so I've not actually had one of the diesel so that for me is, isn't a bad thing. Now the Miniature Railway starts over there, runs up the car park, round the trees and back. So it's what's known as a balloon Miniature Railway because it's like a piece of string with a balloon on the end. So let's go over and have a look and hopefully we shall have a ride. And then after that we'll do the standard gauge line. So although I said it's primarily about Miniature Railways, if there's anything else at the site then um, we will do that as well to show what else you can do during your day at a miniature railway. So it's not just about going to a miniature railway, it's about going out and, you know, seeing what else there is to see. So let's have a little look. It appears a bit, I think because it's a gap in between trains, there's no one about. But there is a train sitting there at the little station. Um, so the track goes off up the hill over there. Look at the, the nice little waiting shelter. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and find out if I can get a ride on it and I shall film the ride from the train. So what we'll do, this is the waiting room and where you'll buy your ticket now. I think because it's quite a gap in between trains on the main Foxwood Railway, there's no one about. So let's have a quick look in here and then I'll have to go and find someone to uh, give me a ride. But one thing I've noticed I thought it was worth pointing out, there's this poster here, it says Britain's Great Little Railways. So it's got obviously all the railways we intend to do and there are other railways, you know, that I will do. It's um, slightly out of date to you, look there, there's Western Supermare Nature Railway, which unfortunately has closed. There's my old railway, Beck and Scott. Um, so I won't go through all of them now, but they do, they produce a little leaflet, which is really good, so it tells you these miniature railways, so um, you'll, if you come to any of these ones you probably will find this leaflet, so do pick it up take my sunglasses off now um, there's a, funny, there's a loco in the shed trackless, it's like a plinth loco um, there's a few books for sale and stuff come out here, this is the, this is uh, this is how they get their visiting locos on and off through this section of track so this is the station so you can see the train is there waiting for you anyone around so I will go and find someone and see if we can have a, have a ride on the railway. In the meantime probably I will go over and have a look, we'll do that now actually, we'll go and have a look over there at some of the industrial locos there are to be seen. So as we walk away from the miniature railway, because there appears to be no one there at the moment, we'll come back, it says it's open, so we will have a ride. Let's go and have a look at the standard gauge rolling stock. There's quite a lot to be seen here. Um, we've got possibly one of the largest collections of ex-industrial equipment. As it's an industrial line, there's some very tight curves and sharp grading, so you're not going to see any Blue Pacifics or anything like that here. It really is all little locos like these diesels and there's some steam over here. We have been here before on Henry's Adventures when the IFA club had a rally here we um, we came here and we had there was a load of Trabants and larders today it's just my larder. Look at this, this is lovely loco. Is that made by? Built at the Gorton Foundry by Bear Peacock in 1879 so built in Manchester. That's really, I'd love to have a trip behind that obviously won't do today but perhaps I'll come back and have a gala on and then this one I always think is fascinating this little train tank locomotive so I'm going to go and just, um, have a look around the, um, the rest of the place so see you in a minute
So we just saw the train arrive with um, a diesel locomotive, which we'll have a ride on later. I just thought we'll come into the museum shed, because I think this is quite a nice little shed they've got, and you can see some of their locos they're not using, rather than just being shut away in the shed and no one can see. You can come in the shed and have a look. So we've got a Peckett tank here, Iron Bridge number one. It's got a face on it. Another Peckett. For those of you who don't know, that's a works number. That's number, oh sorry, the year the loco was built. So when they would have been building the locos in the works, then the next one would have been 2082. And behind me here, these are the North Staffordshire Railway, or the Knotty, as it was known, because of the, like a knot, see, North Staffordshire Railway Company. These are their heritage carriages, which I'd love to have a go in one day. What would be really good is if um, this loco here, North Stafford, Number two could be restored to Steve. Imagine that putting these. Be a great sight. The, um, yeah, that's that packet we were just looking at. And then carrying on with packets, we have another packet. This one's older, 1903. And so obviously it's got a lower works number, 933. And uh, what else have we got? We've got Kerr Stewart, two Kerr Stewart locos of steam on this side, Moss Bay, and the Kerr Stewart diesel on this side. Quite an old diesel, but 1929. So this is Foxfield Railway's museum shed. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and see if I can get a ride on the miniature railway, and then I'm going to come back, and hopefully we can go for a ride, or we will go for a ride, on the standard gauge line. 